the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost her we are two crazies from south africa that is frick and pietru we decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full-time on our new home sisu Morning, but look at the look at the sunrise. So we're now here at the new dinghy dock. First time that we actually came this way. Uh, check all these Bogan Villas. Very pretty little town. So we are on a bus. <laughs> now that was an experience. I'm not sure we were we did not dare to switch on the camera but it was like don't look forward. <laughs> don't look forward. So we just got off the bus, we now here in the main street and yeah, I could have said I'm in Sierra Leone or Freetown or one of those Nigerian places, Abuja. We are back and we need to find number 17 somewhere here. It is like pretty cra oh yes 17. So they lifted the bridge for just for us. Oh registered dinghies only. And we are off to there, between the bushes, there's a restaurant called Catherine's. So we're going to go try it out. There's a dinghy dock behind this boat here. We can actually swim there, but I don't guarantee that we'd be able to swim back again. It's the first time that we, we tied the pegs with a round loop and the an anchor on the other side. So you guys must help check this, check it out so the topics don't move away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Catherine's. Look at this. I'm taking the swan again tonight. <laughs> when your neighbor has a chopper on the off deck then you know there is loads of moolah going around. We watched this guy when he was in the marina when they actually put the chopper blades on. Oh, people don't have on their boats. Eh? And then he's got those massive cranes that takes those other boats off as well. And there's a huge black rubber duck. And the other boat, speed boat. And the incy beansy tiny chopper. Now that is a huge sail. How long do you think that tall that mast is? Hmm. It looks like one, two, three, four spider bars. Yeah, it's big. But I, I always wanted to see where. <coughs> 
and one of those boats actually raised the main and <laughs> because I've never seen a big boat like that with the yeah, main actually up. sailing eh? some of our neighbors here in Falmouth in Antigua in the last couple of days have just been crazy windy um, so much so that everybody's coming in and nobody's out hardly anybody's out sailing at that beautiful classic line over there but what I've been really watching the last couple of days was that monohull it's just been swinging it's actually a little bit less today but yeah see it's going like that for the last three days it is pouring down in the Caribbean it's been crappy weather now for about three days and it's supposed to clear within the next day or two. We are off to there's, um, the female or the, the rowing race from Cabo Verde to, to... Yeah, cross the Atlantic. Cross the Atlantic rowing race is on and the females are about to come in so we're gonna go watch them mr mike yes, ah, and these, he is. this is our yes. other buddies that's supposed to go with <laughs> it's Why probably in the engine room? still yeah. sleep oh yeah we there he is <laughs> hello mike what, what you doing <laughs> Tuesday off. <laughs> <laughs> Is it engine check time? It's engine clean room there. Oh, are you engine not going to come watch there. the ladies? Oh, uh, no, we watched them in the other day. That was enough. We were excited and fun. <laughs> and it's that's now it. finished. The boys are the winners. But, oh, my goodness. How do we get off? No, no. No, no. Well, we need to get our masks out. Mask time. Yes, yours. And even though we're not even close to people, we need to put these things on. Yeah, the Atlantic challenge. All the sponsors. First people were in already on last week. And I think this is the winning boat. This is where they row, two rowers at a time. Was it three? That's three seats, eh? One, mm. two, three seats. And they have to sleep and cook and live in those two little... Oh my word. There's a little nav light on the top that we've got on our dinghy. <laughs> Oh, and look at all they they're all strapped in, eh? Look, they buckle in. That's good to know. Yo, this is fitness at its best. Oh, there's another solar panel. Hm. Yeah, no gen seats. <laughs> Go first in row four cancer. Arrived 14th January at 0450, 32 days, 22 hours and 13 minutes. And the next arrivals are between 11 and 30 and 12.30 today. And that today is Sunday the 24th and then Wednesday three lots. That is so cool. The Duchess, is it the Flying Duchess or just the Duchess? The ladies rowing team crossing the Atlantic. The number ones just coming in. The flares going, lots of hooters going. Turns now to row. Big excitement. They are coming in. There is three standing up and one rowing. So I think they're taking turns to row in. Because they all want the oh they deserve the glory. Up Incredible. exposed in the sun the whole day. Oh, in the sun, I just and at night in. and no hats, not one of them are wearing a hat. One person rowing. Right, get us in. Get yeah. us in, Jenny. One, two, three, four, yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh, you are amazing, 
so these guys they rode across the Atlantic as well we're here with Tipex and to welcome them a couple of guys is here but look took them 50 days to cross the Atlantic We we are now on our way to what a function. So first we go to the pineapple house, and then we the the it's a four man rowing team coming all the way from the Canaries, and there is like two um, Irish guys, one English guy, and one Welsh guy. And they just landed here about four hours ago. And as they came in for the big, big Rura surprise, they lost control. They've been losing control of their daggerboard for a couple of days they now. They a few days ago. And they couldn't, they couldn't steer themselves in, onto the jetty because the wind kept blowing them off. So, to be extra to the rescue, it was. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Ta-da! Ooh, I haven't got my, my, my thingy on. Oh. I've got my face on. Okay. <laughs> so we're on our way to a charity event. Really? Well, the rowers that we rescued this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is Louise. Go. Go. Yeah. Very bumpy road. Now we're on our way to a fundraiser for these superheroes. <laughs> After completing a 52-day passage rowing. And apparently they rowed two hours on and two hours off. And we're thinking Martin might be catching his two hours off now because he wants to sleep for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> So I think he's, he's on, on, the, on the sleep shift. <laughs> and still that's not enough. No, and this feels like a roller coaster so ride. Work, this this is Antigua Roads on a bed. So even the stabilizer oh, cannot yeah. keep this camera yeah. <laughs> stable. <laughs> <laughs> we are anchored just out of Jolly's, Jolly Harbour in Antigua and look how cool these boats are all coming out under sail totally spectacular view
Did I lift my anchor or what? <laughs> and now I want to see these two boats in this close quarter stacking. It's going to be nail nail biting. Oof, he's going through those boats as well. Uh, having already got it through an anchorage. That's how you do it here. <laughs> 